It's Tuesday, February 9th. I'm Ashley Banks in Washington, D.C., and you're watching RT America. This is the second week in Black History Month and continuing the conversation on race and the issues affecting the black community. I spoke with Wilkin Brutus, multimedia content producer for Uji Wuji. I asked Brutus if he believes that other races notice the stereotypes that African Americans face. Take a look. As a Haitian American, I, I grew up with an immigrant background. My parents were Haitian immigrants, Haitian refugees to be exact. Mm -hmm. uh, they were unaware of the systemic racism, and the, the, the structural inequalities that existed within America. So their idea of the American dream was you work hard and you be judged based on merit. Okay. Uh, but oftentimes they were unaware of the forks in the road. So you can work just as hard, you can dress well, you can adhere to respectability politics, be presentable, but there are still times where injustices will happen. Mm -hmm. So if a black woman has a quote unquote ghetto name like Shaniqua, for example, if she isn't hired because of her name, instead of what's great on paper mm -hmm. in terms of what she should be judged on, you know, these are racial microaggressions. These are systemic racism. She should be hired based on merit. Uh, but unfortunately, these things happen. I also asked him why can't African Americans, Haitian Americans, and the like simply introduce themselves as American without being questioned? Take a look. Uh, I spent four years in South Korea. I lived there in South Korea. And, uh, there was this young Korean kid who came up to me and he was like, Miguk hmm, are you American? I'm like, nah, nah, Miguk Saramil, yeah, I'm, I'm American. Mm -hmm. You're not American. I'm like, what am I? He's like, Ghana, man. You're from Ghana. I was like, okay, you got me. I, I think we can, uh, our identities are fluid. Mm -hmm. So I am a proud American nationally. I'm also a proud black man, ethnically African, ethnically Haitian. Um, I think even white Americans have fluid identities. We all have fluid identities. I think the problem with saying, but where is your family from, mm -hmm. is the assumption that you aren't from the country you were born in. Okay. So there's no benefit of doubt that is given. Uh, so for example, there's a huge double standard. White Americans aren't usually faced with that question, mm -hmm. you know, especially abroad. If they say they're American, they're American. But they could have like, uh, a Polish mother or German father, right. uh, but they aren't pressed to identify uh, those other countries uh, to complete who they are. Wilkin has also signed a video partnership deal with Ebony Magazine to further the discussion of culture and racial identity. That does it for now. For more on the stories we covered, go to youtube.com forward slash RT America and check out our website rt.com forward slash USA. You can also follow me on Twitter at AshleyBanks underscore RT. And don't forget to question more.